So before you got basketball in there, what did your post-grad year look like for the, those kids? Were they doing academics? Were you um, getting them through homesickness and doing basic life skills? Were they taking college credits? Like walk me through what the beginning was. Yeah, Corey, thanks so much. So a lot of people don't know this, but the, the term is gap year, right? So gap years have been huge in Europe and Australia. It, it's just almost everybody does a gap year. In, in the Mormon religion, it's it's a two-year missionary trip. And so, but this idea of after high school, you take time to grow and mature. And so the gap year existed before basketball and our students were traveling abroad. So they were getting international experiences. They were getting jobs and then they were in class and being educated. We're a faith-based post-grad program. So they were growing more in their faith and their biblical understanding and wisdom. And so the, the idea of a gap year is to mature. But the reason why I called it link, Corey, is when you hear the word gap, that insinuates there's a there's something missing. There's a there's a negative connotation there, and so I coined the phrase "link," transitioning something to something else. So you're going from high school and linking it to something else. So so it's not just this year where you sit and do nothing and play video games all day, but we're actually preparing you. And the way I sell moms and dads that are that are hesitant with a gap year or a link year it is <clears throat> what it does to their maturity. And I tell them, hey, the term is student athlete, right? So, so what word comes first in that? And it's student. And I know in this age of NIL and everything else, people are like, man, I don't need to be a student. No, the ball stops bouncing for about 99% of these kids. And so if we don't teach them to put student first, they're going to be in trouble. And so uh, that that is what we were doing before basketball is educating experiences, maturity, mentoring, life coaching these kids so that they went on to college campuses impacted their college campus rather than that college campus negatively impacting them.